Now we're ready to examine the behavior of a closed loop system where uh, we have what's called feedback, meaning that we take the output of our system and then we feed it back into the input. Here we have multiple uh, blocks for d with different transfer functions and we have a summing junction which is actually a comparator. It's going to compare the reference and our output. The procedure for finding the closed loop transfer function is to define a value for whatever comes out of our summing junction which I'll call E, meaning error signal. The output E is going to be equal to R of S minus Y of S. This is fed into the rest of our system where we know that y of s is just going to be equal to p and I'm not going to keep writing the s's over and over again so I'll just write p times c times e where we can plug in what we found for e so we get p times c times r minus y and if we collect our terms for y we get 1 plus c times p times y is equal to c times p times r. In other words, y of s divided by r of s is equal to c times p divided by 1 plus c times p. This is called the closed loop transfer function.